just want to be rescued. There it was. The sentence independent single women in their 30s are never supposed to think, let alone say out loud. I'm sorry, but it's true. I've been dating since I was 15. I'm exhausted. Where is he? Who, the white knight? That only happens in fairy tales. My hair hurts. Charlotte, honey, did you ever think that maybe we're the white knights and we're the ones that have to save ourselves? That is so depressing. Is it? So many quotable moments, so, so many like just iconic characters. And in real life, Carrie Bradshaw was Candace Bushnell's alter ego. She wrote the real life Sex in the City column for the New York Observer, of course, mm -hmm. in the 90s. Her stories were published into a best selling book, which became the basis of the hit show. And as if that's not enough, next month, Candace has a one woman show coming up at Cafe Carlisle called Is There? Still, Sex in the City, which is adapted mm. from her 2019 book of the same name. Now, Candace Bushnell joins us live this morning. Thank you Good so much for joining morning. us. Good morning. Another Great member of royalty over yeah. here. <laughs> this, this side of the pond, though. All right. Well, you know, first, our show is called New York Living. Uh, you're, you are New York Living. You are New York. What I, I feel very New York. Yes. What are some of the I'm, things you love about New York? What I really love is the people. Mm. It's, you know, every time I go out, it, there's, a, there's always somebody interesting to meet, to talk to. I, it, it's just, New York's full of characters. Yes, I was going to say, cast and, of characters. Yes, people watching in the world. cast of characters that, okay. that I always say, you, you can't make up these characters no. in New York. And New York is real. They're known, it's we're, real. We're known for keeping it real. Mm -hmm. Yes, really absolutely. Real. Real. So It's very funny it's, that our last guest, as you know, the Duchess of York, said that her favorite thing about coming to New York is the people as well. Mm -hmm. And she's like, and then you know, you, don't, you never know. You run into Candace Bushnell in the lobby of your next gig. Yes, well, I actually, <laughs> we have a mutual friend in London, cool. so. That's how I know her a little the bit, world but it's is very small. It's th but that's such a New York I thing. Know, I know, only in this city. You just never know. And and you know, speaking of your work, Sex in the City, New York Living. Talk <laughs> to us about this. <laughs> New York Living. Yeah. <laughs> you know, talk to us about your upcoming um, show that's going to be happening. What is it all about? Well, it's called "Is There Still Sex in the City," mm -hmm. so it's partly uh, my life story and where it intersects with. Sex in the City. Mm -hmm. So it's how I created Sex in the City, how hard I worked to get there because, you know, I when I started writing Sex in the City, I was 34. Oh my gosh. Wow. So I'd already been in New York writing professionally for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And and then it's also about why I created Carrie Bradshaw and what happened to me after. Mm -hmm. And we play a game real or not real, because the there's so many things that happened to Carrie Bradshaw that kind of happened to me in real life, but on the TV show, it's always better <laughs> or worse. <laughs> For instance, when Carrie dates the senator. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to give everything away, but I we'll dated a, a senator. Oh, oh. You did. But I don't, What's his name? Well, this is the funny <laughs> part. Oh, no. Al D'Amato. What? Yes, and everybody goes, ah! <laughs> and then there's some things about, remember when um, Carrie goes out with a Calvin Klein underwear mm -hmm. model? Mm -hmm. So it's like, is, was that real or not real? And then I put up the picture of the real Calvin Klein oh, underwear model. So we can model. see all of this in My. the show. So this is all in the show. It's really, really fun. And it's at the Carlisle from April 25th to 29th, which is such an amazing place to perform. Are you going to talk anything about Mr. Big in the? In the oh, oh yes, oh, oh yes. Love Mr. Big. I tell the the real story of the real Mr. Big. Okay. Ladies, this is like the hot and, ticket in town next week. And Monday. you will Honey. find out like how he really ended up breaking up with me. <gasps> and yeah. and then the whole thing of how it ties into the TV show. Oh my God. And Aiden and all the rest of it. You know, I don't really talk about Aiden, oh. but I did mm. famously once go on a date with John Corbett. Stop okay. it. That is like I, worlds colliding right it, there. It is, but all I could think was, you know, my mother hated Aiden. 
Every time I went home, my mother would say, <laughs> you've got to get rid of that Aiden and bring back Mr. Big. And I was like, Mom, it's not really up to me. So all I could think was, <laughs> Okay, if for some reason this proceeds and then I have to bring Aiden home, I'm going to be in big trouble. Oh, my God. That is incredible. So, you know, you're a storyteller. You obviously, you wrote it down, pen and paper first. So what's it like to transition to doing this live, performing it on a stage? It's interesting because I... I went to acting school when I first came to New York, but that was a very, very long time ago. Um, and it was, I, it was just such, there was like a lot of casting couch stuff and it was kind of a little skeezy and mm. I was like, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. um, it's so it's interesting now to be acting. Mm -hmm. And I always say, I, I mean, the reality is it's a lot easier than writing a novel. It, it is? Just is. Hey. Yes, it yeah. is. Well, I can't imagine How so? Either, How so? Well, it's very, the, the difficulties of it are physical, mm -hmm. but not really mental. Like, because you know what you're doing, right. you don't wake up every morning and say, like, oh my God, you suck. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I have to come up with some, you know, something new every single day. Yeah. You don't get writer's block. Exactly. You don't get writer's block. So you just, you can just do your job. You do have to do a lot of exercise, though, I find. Oh, exercise. Yes. Pilates. Gonna, oh, like you gotta look good. People are looking at us. Yes, exactly. You gotta what suck Lincoln's it in saying. and all of that. Well, you, don't, you gotta like, suck it in. You are just the pillar of perfection over here. Now, no. could we see a television show from Is There Still Sex in the City? Well, Possibly. I have been working on a TV show, a version of it, actually since 2018, which was before the book even mm -hmm. came out. And then the pandemic came and it all oh. fell apart. So now I've written another script. Oh my God. Okay. So okay. we'll see, you know, a single woman of a certain age. <laughs> I love it. Which is so hard. You know, it's like, uh, Okay, can we make her like ten years younger? It's like, well, then <laughs> no, she's not of a no, certain age. No, 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 you, you gotta keep it. Be authentic. Be authentic. Know? I mean, There's we, an audience we for it. I don't know who's in to charge. We have things to look up to. Yes. Yeah, and we need to represent. You know, yes, all women, exactly. all ages, Amen. and this is something that is definitely needed. So Candace, thank, thank you so, you much, so much for much. coming. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> you can see. I know. So am I. You can see. Is there still Sex in the City at Cafe Carlisle from April 25th to the 29th? You